Okay, the reason you are on the core team is I expect you to dive into a wreck if somebody gets in a bind. And what that means is I expect you to get a buffalo off of an individual. Say a horse goes down and a buffalo has knocked him down. I expect you to go in and get that buffalo off of that guy or individual, guy or gal. And if you have to hit that buffalo with your horse at a dead run, I expect you to do it. Because that's the only way we're going to get that buffalo off of somebody. We don't want anybody killed. If you do have to charge into a buffalo, you always do it on the rear end because that's the lightest part of the buffalo and that's where you'll move him. You won't move him at the front, I'll tell you that. They're built like a brick little house.
that was some ride. I've never done anything like that. I can't imagine how people used to make their living chasing buffalo just to get themselves a meal and wait till I get to paint. I wish I could have took pictures while I was riding because that was so amazing to have 1,200 head of buffalo right next to you and running and the horse moving under you. And it was something else. But you'll see some good paintings coming out of my, off of my easel after this. I, I got it up in my mind what I'm gonna paint. And who would have thought I'd ever been able to do something like this? But especially to ride with Larry Thompson and Bob Lannis and all their families and just about the most amazing people I've ever met. Uh -huh. Hey, Mike, come here. Where were you when those buffalo come over the hill? Or up back down in here. Well, I was right in the middle of them. You know when they turned back? Yeah. That's probably the big mistake I made today. I, I thought, I'm going to be the Dutch boy with his finger in the dam there. and But uh, I did realize later somebody said, Mike, get out of there. You know yeah. who that was? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it.